I'm going to show you how to set up your audio interface for use in Ableton Live. I've got Ableton Live Studio 11 fired up here. I've got my Focusrite Scarlett interface plugged into my computer and powered on. On my Mac, I'm going to go to the top left corner, click the Live menu, and select Preferences. This brings up the Preferences pane. I can also get here by pressing Command, Comma on the keyboard. By default, the Audio tab is already selected. Under Audio Device, we have Driver Type. It's set to Core Audio. I'm going to leave it there because that's what I need for my Focusrite interface. For Audio Input Device, I'm going to click the drop-down menu and find my Scarlett 18i20 interface from the list. Audio Output Device, I'm going to do the same thing. Click the drop-down menu, find my Scarlett 18i20, and select it. For channel configuration, I click Input Config, and that brings up a list of my inputs. On the left, we've got them listed as mono inputs. On the right, they're listed as stereo inputs. By default, only the analog inputs are highlighted. I can name these in the boxes, but I'm going to leave those alone for right now. The remaining inputs are all digital inputs, and I'm not going to use those, so I'm going to leave them alone for right now. I click Output Config and it brings up a similar window. The outputs are listed on the left as mono outputs and on the right as stereo outputs. By default, only outputs one and two are highlighted. Those are for my studio monitors. Those are the ones I want. I'm going to leave everything else alone. I have my sample rate set to 44K. You can set it to whatever you want up to as high as your interface goes. Make sure it works with your setup. Under latency, we have buffer size. I have mine set to 512. You may need to adjust this based on your setup. We have input latency. That's the latency as the sound is picked up by the interface. Output latency is the latency as the sound is sent out from the interface. The sum of these two plus the driver error compensation is listed as overall latency. If you need to adjust your latency, you can adjust the driver error compensation. If you lower it, it's going to lower the overall latency. If you increase it, it's going to increase the overall latency. I'm going to put mine back to zero for right now. At the bottom, we have test. Test tone will show us that our audio interface is working. The tone volume is set to a decibel value, and we can set the tone frequency, and we can also set the CPU usage simulator. When we click that test tone, it's going to play a tone, and it's going to show us the CPU usage in the top corner. Turn it off, and the tone goes away. So that's how you set up your audio interface in Ableton. I hope this helps you with your production, and I hope you found this useful. Please click the like button, click subscribe, and I'll see you next time.